Although some health officials say we are nearing a COVID-19 endemic phase, some health care facilities still need help filling empty gaps. New legislation signed by Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb went into effect at the beginning of this month. It's geared toward ending the nursing shortage in the state. Shelby Riley spoke with a local hospital and nursing program about what this bill will do for the future of nursing. I think that the nursing shortage um, is very deep. I've been a nurse for a number of years, and, and I would say that this is as bad as I've ever seen it. It's been nearly two and a half years since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, and some healthcare facilities are still working to bounce back from the amount of employees lost. Well, across the state, across Indiana, you know, we have projected anywhere from 4,000 to 5,000 vacant bedside acute care RN positions in the state of Indiana right now currently. So we're not immune from that. House Bill 1003, which went into effect July 1st, gives nursing programs some wiggle room so they are able to increase enrollment. Chief of Nursing for Good Samaritan Hospital, Rachel Spaulding, who testified on behalf of the bill in Indianapolis, explains that a part of the bill allows high-passing programs to replace some clinical hours with simulation hours. When we talk about House Bill 1003, what that really aimed to do was really expand the pipeline um, of those that are interested in nursing as a profession to go ahead and be able to enroll those individuals, expand our programs, um, and really um, start working on that pipeline so, so that we can really address that workforce vacancy issue. Kim Cooper, Dean of the Nursing School for Ivy Tech's Terre Haute and Greencastle campuses, says they accept students three times a year. If they have 60 to 80 spots available, the program will likely have a few hundred applicants. Cooper explains that House Bill 1003 gives their program a lot more room to accept more students when previously there may not have always been enough clinical spots open. As any nursing program, we've been limited over, over the years because we can only add so many students. So many students because of qualified faculty. So many students because of available clinical space. She says they have already started expanding their program, making it easier for people with prior medical experience to become a nurse. And with that expansion, what we did is add a new program, and it's medical assisting to RN. It's allowing um, health care providers who have another cre or credential to come into nursing and have a more um, expedited or abbreviated plan of study over three semesters. Current nursing student at Ivy Tech, Don Smith, says he has been in the medical field as an EMT for more than 30 years, so he has had clinical-like experience. However, he says getting to replace some clinical hours with simulation hours may take some pressure off of of students. I think it is very helpful, uh, especially for those who haven't had that kind of experience before. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to, to work on patients and see what happens in real life without the thought of, oh, I could potentially hurt this person. And Cooper says this is a step in the right direction, but a lot more still needs to be done to end the nursing shortage here in Indiana.